Buddhism places a significant emphasis on the practice of silence as a means to cultivate inner peace, mindfulness, and spiritual growth. It encourages right speech, which is all about truthful, kind, and helpful communication, while discouraging lying, harsh speech, divisive speech, and idle chatter. Periods of silent reflection and introspection are encouraged in Buddhist practice. These moments of silence enable practitioners to examine their thoughts, emotions, and actions, fostering self-awareness and personal growth. In today's story, we will highlight the unimaginable benefits of silence and how it can change your life completely. In the serene mountains of a distant land, there stood an ancient Buddhist monastery known for its profound wisdom and peaceful teachings. The monks at this monastery held a belief that silence was not merely an absence of words, but a path to enlightenment and inner peace. Among the revered teachings of the monastery, one saying always stood out, in silence, we find truth, in truth, we find wisdom. In a small village not far from the monastery lived a young boy named Aiden. Aiden was known far and wide for his relentless chatter. He was prone to loose talk, and was unable to keep a secret, whether it was his own or someone else's. He was always the first to spill the beans, sharing his innermost thoughts and divulging the confidential matters of his friends. Aiden's constant babbling made him incredibly unpopular among his circle of friends. His friends grew tired of Aiden's inability to keep their secrets, and one by one, they distanced themselves from him. Loneliness began to creep into Aiden's life as he struggled to understand the source of his unhappiness. One day, an old man who had heard about the boy's troubles approached Aiden. The old man was well versed in the teachings of the Buddhist monastery up in the hills and felt that Aiden could benefit from their wisdom. He advised Aiden to seek the guidance of the monks, who could teach him the value of silence and the disadvantages of talking too much. Aiden, feeling lost and desperate, decided to embark on a journey to the remote monastery. The ascent was arduous, with winding paths and steep hills, but Aiden's determination led him to the tranquil haven of the monks. He was welcomed with open arms, and the head monk, a wise and serene man named Bantikavi, agreed to take Aiden under his wing. As Aiden stayed at the monastery, he witnessed the profound tranquility that enveloped the monks. They communicated not through words, but through meaningful glances and gestures. The monastery was a place of profound stillness, where the whispers of the wind and the rustling of leaves spoke louder than any words. Banti Kavi recognized Aiden's eagerness to learn and began to teach him about the benefits of silence. He explained that silence was not just the absence of noise but the presence of inner peace. In silence, he said, one can truly listen to one's own thoughts, to the world around them, and to the wisdom that resides within. He then went on to describe the Buddhist principles on silence and its benefits. The first principle is known as noble silence. Noble silence is a practice often observed during meditation retreats and is characterized by abstaining from unnecessary verbal communication. It helps practitioners focus on their inner experiences and reduces distractions. The next principle is right speech. Right speech encourages truthful, kind, and helpful communication, while discouraging lying, harsh speech, divisive speech, and idle chatter. Silence can be seen as a way to avoid engaging in harmful speech. The third is meditation and contemplative silence. Meditation is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice, and silence is integral to it. It allows practitioners to turn their attention inward, observe their thoughts, and attain a deeper state of concentration and mindfulness. The next principle is listening mindfully. In Buddhism, Active and mindful listening is considered as important as speaking. It's a practice of truly paying attention to what others are saying, without judgment or immediate response. This mindful listening promotes understanding and compassion. Then is the silent reflection. Periods of silent reflection and introspection are encouraged in Buddhist practice. These moments of silence enable practitioners to examine their thoughts, 
emotions, and actions, fostering self-awareness and personal growth. The next principle is the power of stillness. Buddhism teaches that in the silence and stillness of the mind, one can gain insight and wisdom. It's in these quiet moments that the true nature of reality can be realized, leading to enlightenment. The next is renunciation of idle chatter, avoiding unnecessary or frivolous conversation is considered virtuous. Buddhist texts caution against wasting time on trivial talk, as it can distract from more meaningful pursuits. And the last one is observing the breath, mindful attention to one's breath is a common meditation technique in Buddhism. Focusing on the breath in silence helps individuals center themselves and cultivate awareness. Aiden truly became enchanted by what he listened from the timeless sage. He thanked him dearly and promised to work on these principles under the sage's tutelage. Several weeks passed and Aiden felt a change in his outlook towards life. He developed the habit of remaining silent which completed changed his perspective on life. He became wiser, calmer, understanding and positive. He then begged his leave from the master to return to his village. He came back to the village as a changed person, wiser and more considerate. He mended his relationships, demonstrating his newfound appreciation for the power of silence. He became a trustworthy confidant and a source of support for his friends. And so, the once unpopular boy who talked too much found his place among friends by learning the profound teachings of silence. He realized that the saying from the Buddhist monastery was indeed true, in silence, we find truth, in truth, we find wisdom. Aiden had discovered the profound wisdom of silence and the invaluable treasure it brought to his life and the lives of those around him.